Welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 41, and we are trying to stop the Queen, uh, Queen Zeal from bringing up Lavos by chasing her into the Ocean Palace. Uh, we've managed to defeat Dalton, the David Lee Roth wannabe that was guarding the entrance, and we've uh, already seen a, a couple of enemies, gotten some new items, so let's press on. Uh, so, yeah, the Ocean Palace, probably one of my more favorite dungeons. I think it's pretty cool. Alright, so now we got ourselves two old enemies and a new one. We got basically a Casey Jones wannabe right here. Um, I believe this guy's name is Thrasher? Yeah, there he is. Perfect. I don't know. I really do not understand how I remember the names of these, these, uh, these enemies. I, I was amazed myself that it was actually something that um, was plausible. So anyway, uh, one thing I did forget to do was uh, heal up. I'll make sure to do that after battle. But uh, like I said before, uh, really it's just a matter of using fire. Um, I could I should have actually used napalm to show that off because that also counts as a fire elemental. But um, really just a matter of, again, color coding. Yay, it makes sense. Woohoo! So, hooray. More points for us. And so we've taken care of those guys. Um, and let's, uh, before we go down the stairs, let's check out uh, what's, what's going on in this door right here. Because I believe... Okay, so that's just an elevator shaft. And that's uh, apparently a tab over there, which we'll be able to... Might be able to get a little bit later. Um, I do remember at one point I was able to get that, but it's been a while, so... Anyway, let's uh, heal up. Our characters are doing quite well. Um, I do want to just check on Luca's progress briefly. Uh, first of all, let's have our, our friend Frog use some heal. Why not? Yeah, so these uh, are these two characters should be learning uh, their respective techniques pretty soon. 138 and Fire 2. Yeah, so it's it's still a while it's still a while away. But if we do manage to get the uh, Fire 2, Water 2, and Lightning 2, we will have our triple tech for these three characters. And uh, the same goes, of course, for Chrono, Marley, and Luca. They have something that's actually quite similar. So. Um, they're going to be fighting these guys, uh, which we've already dealt with before, two mages and two thrashers, so let me just take these dudes out. Yeah, considering that we're getting about 30 tech points per battle, um, we should be getting those techniques in no time. Okay, so this part is actually, um, it's kind of platformer-esque. You have to try to sneak under these guys when they're at their highest point, which I am doing horribly at the moment, so uh, never mind. Um, depending on how many of those guys come, you have to fight them, so... Yeah, let's let's take care of these dudes. Ah, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> one thing to note is, um, if you attack one of those thrashers and there are multiple in battle and you don't kill them, and another one is nearby, they will, uh, use, let's say, multiple counterattack techniques, so that's just something to be aware of. Alright, so, yeah, these guys will... That, that stupid statue will blow fire at you. So you have to try to avoid these guys as best as possible, which of course I didn't. I might as well show this this off because there are there is actually a new enemy. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty horrific at actually uh, avoiding these traps, but I really don't mind because that just means extra exp. So why um you know why get sad about that? <laughs> it's just gonna get you closer and closer to using super powerful techniques like the triple tech between these three. So uh, why why worry? Anyway, so yeah, you got these, uh, the Lashers and the Thrashers. And the Lashers, of course, they got these little knives as opposed to the, 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 the Donatello bows that the, uh, that the Thrashers do. But overall, these guys are, these guys are pretty weak. They're just, uh, they're essentially just underlings. Um, almost no armor. I mean, like, a, a non-critical hit from Chrono does 414 damage. That's pretty, that's pretty darn good. I definitely kind of appreciate the, uh, the blast that comes out of Luca's gun with the, um, the Mega Blast. Because, you know, before it kind of looks like this little tiny, like, pathetic blue pellet. But now it actually looks like something that actually may hurt. So I'm kind of happy about that. Is that Luca's shot doesn't look really stupid. Alright, let me give this opportunity to heal up just real quick. Alright, perfect. So, let us proceed down the stairs of doom. Let's see what other uh, craziness awaits us. Um, I don't think that there's a gimmick here. I think there's just enemies. So, oh, like that guy. I don't like him. Anyway, this battle once again, two Lashers and two Thrashers. And lo and behold, the Lashers also can counterattack with uh, X-Stripe, so just something to keep in mind. And, oh, and there's Masa. Uh-oh, that red rock, a lot more trouble than we thought. 
Okay, well, we're on our way. That's why we came down here. We didn't just come down here to get a tour guy to get a tour of uh, the Ocean Palace. Especially since the company so far has been pretty unpleasant. Oh no, she's getting high off the Manmon machine. That's not good. Meanwhile, Shala's apparently going into cardiac arrest, which is not good. Oh, what's, uh, the Prophet seems to be a little bit uh, shocked at what's going on. They should have known better. He threw himself in the wrong lot. With the wrong lot. Oh, don't, don't try to tell the Queen what to do. Yeah, see, that's what happens. <laughs> They tell the queen what to do, and bad stuff. Ah, uh, you know this always happens when you look for immortality. Bad stuff occurs. It's the rule of any, not just RPGs, but every story that's ever been told. It's you know, it's the old saying about you know, search for immortality. It makes you go crazy. So many games, so many books that have professed the same message. All right, so now down here we have a save point, which I'm gonna take advantage of after I. Well, actually, you can avoid these guys if you want, but I think I might take them out, so just give me a second. All right, and with that battle, Frog has learned water too. So let's just, just uh, give me a second. I'm going to take advantage of this save point. All right, there we go. So um, the chapter uh, of this part of the game, by the way, is called Lavos Beckons, which I think is really cool. And so now we're going to prepare ourselves for the next part, which I refer to uh, sometimes as quite the doozy. So here you're actually dealing with um, a couple of enemies, things we've seen before. So let me just take these guys out. All right, so whenever you're faced in a situation where there are multiple scouts of different colors, it's really tempting sometimes to use one of your Lightning 2 or War 2 spells. Don't do it. That's exactly what they want you to do in their counterattack. So over here we actually have this little sparkly switch. And this, as you might imagine, is an elevator. And like in a lot of video games, when you're on an elevator, Sometimes there's battles, so I'm actually going to be showing off um, one of these, so why not? We'll take this one, and I'll probably be skipping the rest, but as you can see, we got our friends Jin and Bargeist, and we got a couple of Thrashers. So let's uh, let's take out the, the Bargeist first, because, uh, you know, he's annoying. And sometimes he'll use a fusion spell with his brother, but yeah, it's better you deal with these guys, because if you let them stick around, they'll start to do really annoying stuff uh, with some status inflictions, I believe. So, might as well take them out before you deal with uh, the other jokers. And uh, as usual, you know, if you're dealing with these thrashers, you always just want to tar target fire the weakest ones. Especially in situations where Chrono counterattacks, because otherwise, um, you run the risk of uh, counterattack techniques. I'm just amused by the fact that these guys have uh, <laughs> 666 HP, you know, the number of the beast. It's pretty funny. I think they just, I think the, the programmers just did that because it might be fun. I don't know. It's always kind of uh, interesting to look in games. Oh, here's that multiple counterattack technique I was talking about. So, yeah, this can be a little frustrating. I don't think it's as bad as the other one, though. The ones that the, uh, the Lashers use, I think, is a little bit worse. The X-Strike. Um, this, by comparison, isn't so bad. But it's, it's still, it's annoying to deal with. It's not fun. And it looks like we might be in for another one if... Uh, Crone doesn't Crone doesn't kill him, which he is. Oh yeah, didn't do it that time, so that, so we lucked out. Yeah, there's no guarantee that those Thrashers will actually use um, some kind of uh, some kind of counterattack technique, but it does happen sometimes. And so we're gonna win, and maybe this time Luca will learn fire too, which would be awesome because then we can get a fantastic triple tech. Yes, fire sword too. And Delta Storm. All right. Um, depending on what the next battle is going to be, I might actually show that off. So, um, if there are no scouters, which there might be. Okay. No. This this is perfect. So, um, there is one scout. I will take him out, and then I'm going to demonstrate uh, Delta Storm to you. So, um, I believe that Marley, Luca, and Chrono have what's known as Delta Force, which is a similar thing. And basically, what it is is that. When you combine lightning, fire, and ice, it actually has a shadow effect. So that's something to keep in mind, is that it's not non-elemental damage. It is actually uh, something... Oh, crap, no! Oh, oh, that almost hit. That would have been terrible. But yeah, let's, let's, let's use Delta Storm just to show it off, because this is pretty fun. So, yeah, this is uh, going to be pretty, pretty interesting. So you have, you have, you have a giant... <laughs> You have a giant three-dimensional uh, pyramid thing that's full of bubbles. 
it's gonna attack. Okay, so maybe this isn't as flashy as Delta Force, but still. Look at that damage. That is some pretty nice damage, I gotta say. Woohoo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, more EXP. Chrono gets closer and closer to using Luminaire, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we're... At this point, we're actually quite balanced as far as... Um, as far as it goes. So, alright. Let me take care of this battle, because this is actually a real pain. Um, you fought these guys before, so just give me a second. Alright, so we're all set. Um, that last battle was just more tedious than anything, because you had to individually use um, each elemental spell on each uh, each scout, and the animation and the slow, da slow down time just made it seem like it took so long. So, um, over here what we're going to do is that we have to actually form a bridge. So, as you might imagine, um, this involves hitting two switches. And guarding each of these switches are, of course, uh, once again, the three types of scouts. You can't really see it right now because they're all white. There we go. But yeah, uh, yellow, red, blue. Take them out. Yep. Wash, rinse, repeat. And then you hit the switch right here. And this will take care of, I think, uh, well, not half the bridge. It's, it doesn't actually show up yet. But then you want to do, oops, I did not mean to step on that. But if you step on that, as you can see, nothing happens. However, if you go to this right side and pretty much do the same thing, then you'll be able to do it. So I'm just going to fast forward to, through this. All right, now that we got both switches down, we can proceed to cross the bridge. Now, if you step on this button, it does do the nice little white flashy thing. But now you're going to see that uh, a bridge should be showing up. There we go. Yep, just kind of building itself right across the way. So. Isn't that fantastic? And the elevator goes down. So let's keep going. Let's see what's what's up next for us. Okay, so... Um, then if we actually go up here, there is a treasure chest with... What is inside? An elixir! Yay! And of course, here's a save point. So, we've made it almost all the way through the Ocean Palace, but are we going to be able to stop the Queen in time? Uh, is there any hope left for the universe or is lava going to come up and destroy the world even before we get the chance to build any kind of electronic civilization? Well, we'll find out in the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been the Benjinator, and thank you guys once again for watching. I'll see you next time.